Morning. What are, what's the latest uh, in the investigation? Uh, good morning, Bella. Though it's only 8 a.m. in the morning here in Sofia, uh, there's only already a lot of uh, news to uh, share with you, actually. Yes, uh, that man uh, who's got uh, interrogated uh, yesterday, he's been already released and uh, they uh, raised no charges against him. Now, um, According to some uh, unofficial information, most probably leaked by the Bulgarian authorities to the media, a man of Roma origin, uh, 21 years old, was arrested in Germany uh, yesterday. Uh, according to this uh, still unconfirmed information, the DNA sample found in the murder scene uh, actually matches with the one of his, one of this uh, suspect. Now, the Bulgarian government are under unseen international pressure to solve this case. Uh, inside the country, uh, they were criticized that they were too ha hasty to uh, deny uh, Ms. Marinova's murder was linked to her job, uh, a theory stemming actually from the terrible situation of the freedom of the press here, Bell. Uh, and Robert, you've been speaking to other journalists in Bulgaria. What do they make of the whole situation? Uh, yes, the media, on the other hand, is uh, criticized that uh, it has exaggerated Ms. Marinova's profile uh, of an investigative uh, journalist, when uh, actually she herself has uh, uh, never claimed to be one. Uh, she was a regional TV host, that's what uh, journalists around here say, who gave airtime to an investigative uh, journalist uh, working on a topic about EU funds fraud in her last appearance uh, on the program. So, uh, journalists around here want to take a step back and they really want to wait for the official official uh, version of the story to uh, see clearer in all this situation before uh, anyone would tell that the murder case has actually something to do uh, with her job.